Hi guys, it's Pink Vision Tara here, and I'm just going to do a reading for fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sag. Take what resonates, leave the rest. General reading. I hope everyone's well. Aries, Leo, and Sag. Now I have uh, fire in my chart. Um, what do we need to know, guys? What's a heads up? What's going on? What's coming up for us? Hopefully something really good. Seven of Wands reversed. Okay, so Seven of Wands is often about protection. It can be about protection orders. I personally have a protection order in place. It's permanent. For those who know me, it's because I have a sociopath as an ex. Um, dangerous, psychologically violent, um, and it's there to protect me. It's been breached, but... Um, it's there to protect me. Now, it's this card's reverse, so why is that? Do we not need the protection order anymore? Mine's permanent. Do we not need to fight for safety anymore? Is someone coming in and, and doing it for us? Mm. Are we in an illusion that we're safe when we're not? When you're dealing with toxic people, they can be extremely manipulative. So if you know that this is where you were at um, and they're feeding you or gaslighting you um, to make you think that things are okay, never, ever, ever underestimate how dangerous a narcissist can be. Please don't. Two of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, someone's can't juggle anymore. Like the jig is up. So someone's struggling possibly financially. They were, I said this before, robbing Peter to pay Paul. So... Yeah, someone could be um, mm, in a really unhealthy place financially. So watch yourself. Watch yourself. Ten of Wands reverse. So more fire energy for you guys. Two reversals. Ten of Wands reverse. It's been a battle. I think someone's letting their guard down. Someone's letting, letting their guard down. And that can, can be a good thing. But it also isn't if you're dealing with someone that you need protection from. So don't, you know, don't be too complacent. Don't be too complacent. That's the, the message I get. Nine of Wands. Wow. Guys. Another reversal. Don't get tricked into thinking someone's changed. Or, whew. See those ones are bound, they're tied. I think someone's in a really tricky situation and they want you to let your guard down. So maybe they can come back and do something. Seven of Pentacles, two sevens, that could be significant. Seven of Pentacles is like the apprenticeship card. So it's starting out almost like, for me, the beginning of something. Like the start of a job or a career or a business. But it's the first sort of step. So you haven't made the big money yet. See how that is it like an elk or a deer is looking up. Or is that the same thing? Sorry. Looking up at those pentacles. Because they're not quite at, at, in reach. Or someone. Be Interesting if you get the seven of cups. The con artist card. But it's almost like someone's looking at options. Or looking at ways to make money. That's out of reach. Something's out of reach for someone. King of Cups. This is normally a good card. Someone who's emotionally stable. Maybe a new love offer coming in. Mm. So someone's letting their guard down. Few few messages. Maybe a new love is coming in. And it's time for you to let your guard down. Which is, which is good. Because if we're dealing with needing protection from someone. Obviously it's hard to trust or feel... Um, safe, you know, we need to make sure we don't, there's no ulterior motives. Ten of swords reverse, guys, well, look, wow, so two tens, two sevens, you know, that's, could be really significant for you. There's been a lot of heartache in whatever's happened, ten of swords, look at the a knife going through that bird's chest. 
heartbreak actually can feel like you've got a broken heart. So, you know, it's reversed. So there's been a lot of shit that's gone down. So maybe the spread's saying, you know, it's time for you to um, know that there is someone new coming in for you and you can let your guard down. Oh, wait a minute. Interesting. This is the King of Cups. This is the um, Knight of Cups. So an offer of love coming in. But look at this. This the King of Cups, which I said is reversed. So I don't know why I said King of Cups. And it's come out anyway, but it's reversed. Wow. So maybe a, a new offer of love coming in, or an offer of love coming in, or romance that's from someone new, but maybe the person that stabbed you in the back was someone who offered you love in the past. Nine of Swords. Two Nines. Two Nines reversed. Nine of Wands, Nine of Swords. Two sevens and two tens. Wow. Wow. Sleepless nights, anxiety, but it's reverse, so we're coming out of that. We're coming out of that um, depression. The tower. The tower. I think there's two messages here. You know, whatever wasn't built on a solid foundation will crumble this is like a karmic cycle coming to an end because you've got the tens you know the the nines the sevens two of each two people you've got the two of pentacles reversed i think on a side note you might get to witness someone facing some karma for what they've done but i think that's someone that you haven't seen for a while but I think, you know, a new love offer, something new is coming in for you. And, and the universe wants you to know that it is time to let your guard down. And it's maybe safe for you, hopefully, to love. And there we go, Eight of Swords. So we've got the Seven, Eight, Nine, Ten. Um, eight of Swords is imprisonment, physical imprisonment, in jail. You know, it's, it's punishment for crimes. It's mental pr imprisonment, it's anxiety. Is someone going to jail? Is that the tower moment? Is someone from maybe the past going to jail? On a side note, is someone facing some karma for what they've done? Someone can't dig themselves out of the fucking hole that they dug. Someone can't get themselves out of the hole they fucking dug. Oh, well, never mind. And look at the shit. It's almost like they've dug the hole and that's the dirt that they've, you know, that's the shit that they've created while they're digging this fucking hole. Lightning strikes in the background. Wow. The chariot moving forward. I think, you know, this could be cancer you're dealing with. You've got all the um, elements here, but moving forward. I mean, that's a killer whale. It's a killer whale. I mean, they're beautiful, they're majestic, but they're killer whales. You know, like, let's not get confused about who this is. You know, people think, oh, they're gentle creatures. Yeah, but no, they're, they're killer whales. So, you know, um, you don't want to get in the water with one of those. So um, moving forward from a situation where you're dealing with someone that has two faces, that people think are, um, well, people in aquariums, anyway, think are, are not dangerous, but they are dangerous. They're dangerous. Ten of Pentacles, three tens now. Ten of Wands, ten of Swords, and ten of Pentacles reversed. Fire signs. What's going on? Someone's broke. Someone from your past is struggling. Financially, emotionally, they're unstable. This is someone you might have a protection order against. This is someone you just have walked away from. Wow, King of Pentacles. I think this new person that's coming in is the King of Pentacles because I'll put this on this side. Let's see what else. The Hermit. There's been a huge time of reflection and time out and almost um, to protect yourself, you know, staying home. And, and that's like a Prey Mantis on there. Prey Mantises are good luck for money too. So there might be a windfall of money coming in. This King of Pentacles could be financially really stable. There we go. There's the Emperor reversed. Narcissistic energy. Do I need to even do any more? Four of Swords. Four of Swords to me can often mean imprisonment as well. 
being forced into treatment or forced into rehab or forced into hospital or forced, taken away with the chariot, you know, like the police coming, an ambulance coming, a social worker coming, you know, someone coming to take someone away and forcing them into addressing or looking in the mirror, look in the mirror, look in the mirror, look in the fucking mirror. Fire sign. I'll do a love oracle for you guys too. Um, I think, yeah, basically I think there could be some new love coming in or a new offer, something coming in for you that's quite substantial after maybe being on your own for quite a while. And this person financially is quite abundant. Um, on a side note, and this is a message I've seen before, that um, there could be someone from the past that's financially in, in trouble and they could actually receive some serious karma for what they've done, like imprisonment. And look at this frog holding on to that one sword. I mean, that can often be illness as well for me, but um, holding on to the one lie, the one last thing that they've got. And there we go. Look at the look what's under it. The devil reversed. Addictions, codependency, narcissistic abuse. More dead animals in a trap. Gaslighting. Fire signs. Um, Aries, what do you need to know? Let your friends help, ask for and accept help from others. Leo. Give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. So if this new person's coming in, give yourself a chance. Sag, what do you need to know, that one? <laughs> Release your ex. The time has come for you to clear your energy. Release your ex, guys. What's an angel message for all of us? Fire signs. Remember who you are. Archangel Michael, you are a powerful, loving, and creative child of God. You are loved. Look at the sword of truth in that in Archangel Michael's hand. And look at the sword here and the, and the toad. Toads are venomous, some of them. You know, they've got some of them are dangerous. Who would you rather um, trust? Archangel Michael or the toad? I think that's about what it is. It's about who do you trust. When someone shows you who they are, believe them. My Angelo. On a side note, guys, yeah, you could get to see someone facing karma, but someone you haven't seen for a long time or you could hear about it. Could be someone you dated or could be someone you know that hurt someone that you know. You know, that's how these cards go. Could be someone you work with that, that was a shit boss that's finally getting, you know, what they deserve. Like someone who was stealing from work. I worked somewhere once and she was stealing, the boss was stealing, and yet she was the one that was told by the big bosses to investigate who was stealing, yet she was the one stealing. You know, so it's just like that loop. So, yeah, how are you going to get someone for stealing when you're the one that's stealing and you're investigating yourself? It doesn't work like that, but, you know, more often than not, it's the people in a position of power. The father figures, the the heads, the leaders, you know, the mother figures, the, the matriarchs, the patriarchs um, are, are the ones that are doing a lot of fucking damage. So I think you'll get to see something go down fairly quickly that involves money, family money, and juggling um, two people, two personalities, two lives, um, a con artist in the making or a con artist... Um, is unravelling, so good luck.